This is a Stanford Learning Lab tutorial on how to integrate the read and write application to facilitate comprehension and effective writing. We'll walk through some common barriers to reading and writing and the different features of read and write that help people overcome those barriers. There are a variety of barriers to reading and writing. Some people may have difficulty decoding language. Some people may experience reading and writing difficulty because it places a high demand on attention. Others may have difficulty reading certain material because it uses certain color palettes. Various apps now include features that utilize more readable fonts and other features that improve reading ease. Read and Write offers tools to make text more readable and reduce distractions, in addition to other benefits. While not every person will experience these particular barriers, they may still benefit from using Read and Write. Read and Write can open as a desktop application or a browser extension. Both have similar features. I'm going to walk through the desktop version. You can work with any reading in a PDF format by clicking on the PDF button and selecting a file. It is important that you open the PDF through the Read and Write app for the best results. I will open the PDF of a research article. Let's walk through the rest of the options on the toolbar. Read and Write has text-to-speech functionality, and all you have to do is click on the text that you want spoken. And nobody wants to make errors in a situation that counts. Then, you can use the play, pause, and stop buttons that allow you to operate the text-to-speech function. If you come across a word that is unfamiliar to you, you can highlight the word, let's say the word reactor here, and then click on the dictionary button. Then you will get the definitions, synonyms, antonyms associated with the word reactor. The next button is the screenshot reader, which allows you to take any section of text in this document or outside this document and have it read aloud. Metacognition is an awareness of one's own thought processes and an understanding of the patterns behind them. This is useful if you want to have something to read on the web page without turning it into a PDF first. The next button is the language translator, and you can select from over 50 languages to put in the input and output language. So we can translate this English text, then a tab will open on your browser with the translated section, complete with a text-to-speech function. La metacognición es la conciencia de los propios procesos de pensamiento y la comprensión de los patrones detrás de ellos. The screen masking button is useful if you prefer a different color palette, so currently the screen has turned a bluish hue. You can change the masking color under the settings button. With this function, you'll see a highlighted bar that distinguishes about two lines from the rest of the text. This can help you transition from one line to the next as you read. You can use the highlighter functions throughout the text and separate them by colors. This is something that people love to do with hard copy documents. But the benefit of using Read and Write is that this Collect Highlights button will take all of your highlighted sections and consolidate them into one space. These highlights can be separated by color, and when you hit Collect, it will create a Word document with your highlighted text that you can save and read later. If you are writing your own document, Read and Write offers several great features to aid your writing process. The Check It button will scan your whole document for writing errors. The Prediction button will open up a small window beside your document, and as you type, it will offer up the highest probability words that come next based on what you've just written. This can be useful if you're having trouble finishing a thought or sentence as you write. The last button on the toolbar is the Settings button. Under Settings, you can customize and personalize Read and Write so it best suits your needs. You can add and remove features, and there are plenty of extra features that I did not cover in this video that you could explore. If you want a more in-depth dive into different Read and Write features, they have an extensive list of video tours on YouTube. The link will be in the description of this video.
We hope this video helps inform you about how to integrate Read and Write into your learning process. If you want to discuss this application or develop reading and writing skills with a learning specialist, please contact the Stanford Learning Lab. Thank you for listening.